Okay, I got dressed. It's kind of chilly this morning, so I'm wearing my moccasins. A typical at-home outfit, even though I am actually going out. What I've noticed is in the winter, I wear an at-home outfit every day. <laughs> Because you wear a winter jacket anyway, and you can't even see your cute outfit, so might as well just be comfy, right? Okay, good morning. It is Saturday today and honestly, I had a terrible day yesterday. I had six hours of class like I normally do on Fridays. And then afterwards, I was just like really missing my friends and really missing like being able to go out and socialize and meet people and go places and travel and have experiences. I was just kind of having a little bit of a uh, isolation breakdown, if you will. And yeah, I just really did not feel good. I was not, I was so uncomfortable with like where I was and what I could do, I guess. And a lot of the times, honestly, I feel like I need my friends more than they need me. It sounds so weird or like sad or something, I don't know what to say, but like so often I am completely fine just doing my own thing. You see it all the time. Like I love like playing my guitar, writing in my journal, reading, doing my schoolwork, whatever. I spend 90% of my time alone, 100%. And I love it. I love my alone time. I love being able to do what I want to do and just do exactly what I want to do whenever I want to do it. But there are times when I definitely feel like I'm always reaching out and people just like don't care. I don't know. But so yeah, I was really feeling like that yesterday. The one other thing I'm going to say about friends and stuff and just like this age, like becoming an adult sucks I think we all established that and like it's like everyone everyone in your life has someone else you know like all my friends have another friend that they would go to before me and you know that's the same with relationships if any of my friends were in relationships that obviously their boyfriend would come first or girlfriend you know and even like with my mom obviously her husband comes first and I'm just totally in this like state of like I learned about this in school I think it's like anime <laughs> this age where like you just are in between you don't really know where you belong 
you don't really have anyone that's like picks you first you know I don't know how to explain it I spend a lot of my life alone clearly I don't think you've seen anyone else in any of my vlogs hardly and most of the time I like it I'm totally fine with it I love doing my own thing being my own person but sometimes I really wish that someone chose me you know or reached out to me or cared about me genuinely wanted to spend time with me and that's another thing that comes into play is your love languages because my love language is definitely quality time and words of affirmation a hundred percent it's crazy how like different people can be with that because like acts of service that's nice but like okay or like gifts like thanks i love gifts but it's okay like I'd rather you spend time with me I'd rather you plan a trip with me and we can go somewhere and just spend time together it doesn't have to be expensive or anything like that like just like a road trip that we can like stay in a hotel and spend time together I'm totally quality time so that's another thing where I feel like I just don't really get that from some people in my life and that's okay because everyone's different so that's just how it is and that's totally a part of your 20s growing up is lonely it really is and most of the time like today and moving forward I'm totally okay with it I understand that and I know that in order to be my best self and to accomplish what I want to accomplish it's gonna be lonely a lot of the time so With that little recap on how I felt yesterday, I am so ready to start a new day and be happy today and get lots of stuff done and do what I want to do and just really, really be happy. So, it's a new day and it's going to be good. <sighs> so, I already did my whole morning routine, as you saw. I showered, did my makeup, played my guitar, read my devotional, did all that, and I'm trying to get through this glass of water before I do anything else. I made a coffee downstairs, and I'm just letting it cool off so that I can make it iced. And yeah, that's kind of, I have a little list of all the stuff I have to do today I don't know why it's on two different books like it's it's pretty much the same thing just split up on two books I don't really know why but I love having everything written out okay so I'm vlogging today and then I'm also filming another video it's going to be a Christmas decorating kind of video I don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on decorations so it's not going to be elaborate or extravagant or whatever the word is but I thought it'd just be kind of fun to do a little Christmas decorating in vlogmas so I'm gonna film that today and you might see little bits of me filming that in this vlog and what else am I doing today I need to clean my entire house I have a list of all the cleaning that I need to do I also need to garbage upstairs huge list of cleaning it won't take long if I just put on some music and do it but I've been kind of putting that off because as you can probably imagine living with two brothers is a challenge at times and I just feel like our house is never clean like I'll clean up the entire place and I turn around and there's like a bag from takeout on the counter and I'm like put it in the garbage so that's kind of what I'm dealing with and then other than filming that video cleaning up my house I just have to work on a couple assignments it is nearing the end of the semester as I've said and wow how do you say stressed I have like three essays 
a miscue analysis. I have no idea what a miscue analysis is, by the way. And then like three other reflections to do in the next two or three days. So I'm really, really going to be working on assignments today and tomorrow. And then I need to edit some Vlogmas videos. So that's kind of my plan for the day. This has been super long, but I really wanted to kind of talk about how I was feeling yesterday because it was not a good feeling and it was just so uncomfortable and I just, there was nothing I could do that would make me feel better. And it's crazy how bad you can feel one day, go to sleep, and tomorrow's a new day. I feel completely, completely okay with everything. Everything that was bothering me yesterday, I'm completely okay with. I've accepted it. I'm moving on and I'm going to have a good day and a good rest of this year because it has been a crazy one. But I really, really want to just embrace it and make some personal goals for the next year that only depend on me. They don't depend on anything going on in the world or anyone else in my life, only on me. So me accomplishing them is 100% on me rather than anything else that can affect it. So let's go. I need to get my coffee and then we are going out into the town to film that decor video. So thank you so much for being here and it's gonna be a good day. Let's go Christmas shopping. Also, I'm wearing my really cute boots. I don't know if I've showed them. I love them. So cute. So wintry. What? This is so cute. Okay, you're sitting on my favorite green chair, as you can probably see. But I finally got home from filming that Christmas decor shopping video. <sighs> it only took about two hours, which is actually kind of surprising for me because I have this problem where I love to browse stores for hours. People who shop with me often don't really enjoy it, so I usually shop alone. <laughs> But I love just like taking my time and looking at everything and that's usually why I end up spending way too much money wherever I go. But that only took about two hours. So now it's about 12. Uh, it might be like 1230 now. And I'm going to make my first meal of the day besides the protein shake that I had. And I'm thinking an egg white tomato spinach maybe a little bit of cheese kind of situation. And I'm really excited about it because I'm so hungry. So I'm going to make that and then I'm going to quickly tidy up my whole house. Mostly the downstairs is what needs some work. And then I'm going to decorate with the new Christmas decor that I got. You'll see the actual decorating in that video and then i'm gonna work on an assignment and edit and that's the plan for the rest of my day okay i made my first meal i made an egg white omelet with spinach and tomatoes i was so mad because i looked at the brand new tomatoes i got and three out of four of them were moldy <laughs> but anyways i have a piece of toast with avocado i had to have a bite and make sure it was good <laughs> And then just another piece of toast with butter for the omelet. And then I filled up my water again and just drinking some water.
I just got my takeout from Ricky's. I haven't eaten here in so long, so I'm really excited. I got the Zorba, the Greek wrap it's called. It's so good, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It has like chicken, tzatziki, tomatoes, cucumbers, so good. Curly fries, I don't know, I saw them and I was feeling kind of crazy. That is not something I would normally get, but. And then I got the broccoli cheddar soup to try as well. So excited to eat this. Yes. I'm just here eating my food. I haven't started yet, I'm so excited. But yeah, a little update on the day. I got a really bad headache after I filmed the last clip. I've been getting headaches like every single day, like migraines. And my mom thinks that it's like side effects of COVID because there's been people talking about having a similar experience. So that kind of sucks because it really <laughs> takes a lot out of my day. Like it's already 6 p.m. now. So yeah, I had a nap to try and get the headache to go away. It worked, I feel better now, but it's 6 p.m. now. So I'm gonna eat this and then continue what I was doing. I did clean up, do the cleaning that I wanted to do. So I'm gonna decorate with a new Christmas decor and then probably do an assignment or edit, both. I don't know which one I'm gonna do first though. And yeah, that's my, that's kind of my Saturday. So I'm gonna eat now because it smells so good. I'm so excited. And I will talk to you later. These ones were always my favorite. The really tightly bound ones. <laughs> yeah, I haven't had curly fries in so long. Oh, look how yummy. Also, this soup is so good. It was $10 for that tiny bowl, but really good. I'm having a 10 out of 10 meal with myself here. Wonderful Saturday night. I'm gonna eat one of these seashell chocolates or chocolate seashells I guess they're called and see if they're as good as I remember. I always like the starfish ones. I don't know there's something about this little starfish that just looks delicious. Let's try it out. Mm, they're really soft. Just how I remember. I'm surprised they're this soft from the dollar store. I don't usually get food there. Also, I was reading the box and it says 24 pralines with hazelnut filling. And I have no idea what a praline is. Like what is praline? Is that like a nut? It's probably a nut actually, yeah. Cause at Starbucks, everyone talks about this praline syrup or like praline as a flavor. And I have no idea what praline is, but obviously it's good because these chocolates are good. 24 pralines. But pralines, like that sounds like the chocolate is a praline. Is praline chocolate? I have no idea what praline means, but you should buy these. I don't even know if this is like the right brand or these are like the real ones. These are probably like knockoff or something, but still good. You should buy them.
Okay, I have no idea how it's 11 p.m. because I've accomplished like nothing <laughs> school-wise. <sighs> it was a really good day. I had fun filming the Christmas shopping stuff and decorating my house and I cleaned up quite a lot. So I'm happy about that, but the migraine and four hour nap in the middle of the day definitely took a lot of time out of my day. So after I got that delicious dinner, I have been trying to work on this assignment and I have no idea what I'm doing still. Like it's probably been hours of me trying to do this and I don't have one word written down. And it's kind of just sent me into a mental breakdown <laughs> because I just have so many assignments due before Tuesday. Like that's like three days away or two days away, I guess two. <laughs> um, and I just feel like so overwhelmed about it. This is definitely the like most overwhelmed I've ever felt from school. And like feeling like I literally can't do it. It's like a combination of like being an after degree student who's like jumping into the third year of a different program and everything being online. There's just like so many random documents just like posted on the page online and like I'm supposed to just like know what to do with them or like have the time to read them and I don't know. It's like so much random stuff constantly being thrown at you whereas like if it was in class they'd like explain everything and explain what each sheet is for and stuff like that i don't know this probably makes no sense because i'm giving no context but it's just like it's a lot it's very very overwhelming and i'm just like so uncomfortable in life right now like I know this is really typical for like the last couple days of the semester like you always feel like it's like okay everything's due now and you need to be done it now but like this is definitely the worst I've ever felt regarding school and just like not knowing what I'm doing um and it's so stressful with online as well because you don't get any marks back barely at all so like I feel like I'm missing assignments and I've like not even passed these assignments so I'm probably not even gonna like pass the classes and like you know like it's just like I just don't know anything I don't know how to do things I don't know if I'm doing it right and I don't know if I'm even passing basically so it's like I have no idea what's going on <laughs> and I know the majority of this way that I'm feeling right now is because it's the end of the semester and everything feels really 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 stressful right at the end and I know that if I just finish up these like six assignments that I have to do in the next two days this semester will be over I'll have a month off to prepare for the next semester and then that's my last semester of school so that's kind of exciting I know this video has been a lot of sitting in my closet talking but Honestly, I have no one else to talk to and talking it through on camera kind of, it's kind of like journaling, you know? It just feels nice to get it out and just talk about what you're going through and how you're feeling. And I know that tomorrow I'm going to wake up with some fresh motivation again, like I did today. And it'll be fine and I'll figure it out. It's fine. Life goes on, man. So I'll talk to you in the next video. Sorry, this has kind of been a depressing end, but that's life, man. This day has been like a woo! And that's my life, so. Much more of this to come, I'm sure, but tomorrow's a new day.